Glaucoma is number one or number two leading cause of blindness in the globe. It develops as fluid in the eye build up, which puts pressure on the optic nerve. This leads to blindness. Just like oil in your car, there's fluid in your, in your eyeball that's constantly getting changed out. So it could, it could do its job at best. If there's a problem with the removal of this fluid, or if too much gets added, just like in your car with oil, it could lead to some problems. Now the optic nerve is part of the nervous system, and what it does is it transfers the image that you see on your eyes to your brain. Now, if there is eye pressure in your eyes, it puts pressure on this optic nerve. And depending on how healthy the optic nerve is, it damages it. Now, just because someone has too much pressure in their eyes, it doesn't guarantee glaucoma, but it really increases the risk. And of course, someone can get glaucoma without eye pressure. And this is called a low tension glaucoma, but it's very, very uncommon. Now, there really are two ways pressure can be built up in somebody's eye leading to glaucoma. And that's when the drainage system slowly gets clogged. And that's called open angle glaucoma. And when there's a sudden blockage in the, uh, the whole drainage system all at once. And that's called angle closed glaucoma. Now the worst part one is the open angle one. That's when like, the, the gradual decrease in blockage because there's not that many symptoms. And unfortunately, 90% of glaucoma patients get this. It's where there's a gradual decrease in peripheral vision, which is going to be very, very hard to notice. And that's when uh, the drainage system slowly gets clogged up. It's almost like putting a frog in hot water. If you put a frog in hot water and slowly turn up the temperature, the frog is not going to notice. And he's going to probably die. But if you put the frog in hot water and you raise the temperature increasingly all at once, the frog is going to notice he's going to jump out and live. The same thing happens with your eyes. By the time someone realizes that they're losing their vision peripheral wise, it's pretty late and a lot of damage has been done. Unfortunately, there's no way to get it back to. The only true way to know if someone has glaucoma is to go down to a, a physician and get some tests done. Adults should actually get tested every two years, and if you're over the age of 60, you should get tested every single year. That's according to WebMD. Now, the symptoms of angle-closed glaucoma really are much more noticeable, just like the frog. That's when there's a blockage right away happens. For starters, there's going to be a, a big increase in pressure in your eyes, and you're going to notice this because you're going to feel a lot of pain. And if you feel a lot of pain in your eyes, you should probably go see a, a doctor right away. Next thing you'll notice is the severe blurring in your eyes. You're not, going to see, you're not going to be able to see very good. Other indicators could be redness with your eyes, big old round halos every time you see lights. And of course, you might want to feel like you want to throw up and vomit. Now, the great news is if you see a doctor right away, you could uh, stop the permanent damage. The bad news is, well, if you, if you wait to see a doctor, if you don't see one, this damage is going to be permanent and you can't reduce it. More good news is there's a lot of things you can do to reduce your chance of getting glaucoma. For starters, protect your eyes. Eye injuries really, really increase the chance of this disease. Next, consume more omega-3 fats. Now you can do you can eat you can get them from a fish or from a supplement, but I highly recommend a supplement because you're not gonna get the mercury and contaminations you're gonna get with the fish. Now in a study done in Melbourne, Australia, using rats. Half of them were given omega-3, the other half did not. After about 40 weeks of the rats that were taking in the omega-3 had a 13% decrease in eye pressure. It's amazing. Next thing that you want to do is be careful with your blood sugar levels. When there's too much insulin in your body, it raises blood pressure and it possibly raises your eye pressure as well. Medical experts have also linked insulin resistance to more eye pressure. This really comes down to eating more healthier foods and not consume a lot of foods that, that raise your blood pressure very, very quickly, like the good stuff, like candy stuff. <laughs> Next, you're going to want to exercise a lot. This definitely helps with many areas in your life. 
Lastly, you can take some supplements like lutein, zeaxanthin, ginkgo biloba, and bilberries. Lutein protects the eyes from free radicals. It's very healthy as well as zeaxanthin. Ginkgo biloba and bilberries um, help as well. And a study done in South Korea with 332 people over multiple years concluded that ginkgo biloba and bilberries improve vision and really reduce the chances of a lot of these uh, eye problems like cataracts and glaucoma. And before you run out and purchase a whole bunch of dietary supplements to help your vision, it's important that you know that not all supplements are the same. Between 2007 and 2012, there were more than 6,300 reports of serious ad adverse reactions to using dietary supplements. And that's within the United States alone, not including globally in the world. What makes matters worse is that the industry isn't very regulated in a lot of countries. And that means government agencies, uh, they don't really test all these products out before they, get, before they hit the store shelves and people can buy them. So it really makes it easier for someone to buy some crappy, crummy product. And to help you in your quest and buying supplements to improve your health, I've actually created a, a free guide all about this process. Now, this guide does go over how to identify a good brand from a risky, crappy one, which is great because all supplements, all supplements look the same. So there are, there are some ways you can identify the two, which I explained to you. It also goes over uh, various herbal remedies to consider, ones you shouldn't consider. It goes over government agencies like the FDA and what they do to protect us, which will probably surprise you. And of course, the best thing is completely free. So you get a lot of great information in, in a few minutes of your time. I really think it can help a lot of people. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for uh, listening to me and uh, have an awesome, great rest of your day.